um, I'm going to confess. I, I think Ted said it actually the best. Uh, the speeches are actually an excuse to bring all you guys together. Uh, I know I enabled that last night, uh, and actually it was probably one of the best events we had. Uh, I know that uh, I spoke about being an architect and creating shells. Uh, my house uh, literally is that. I, I was just commenting recently that it's a, it's a monument to drywall or, or gypsum board. And the, you know, I had the intention of making the house uh, a kind of a gallery for space and a sacred space. Uh, but the house doesn't come alive until it's filled with people. And last night it roared. And uh, that, that without a shadow of a doubt, uh, was my my most fam uh, my, my my favorite experience of the entire event. Usually, it's in the hallways or sitting down and having a meal with somebody really quick, discussing ideas. But last night, it was seeing my house come alive, with the attendees and the speakers absolutely engaging each other for extended periods of time. Yeah, we were we were talking about it just next door. That what really sets this event apart from others is the the collection of people, from the speakers to the audience. Um, it's just top quality. Getting to hang out with some people that I don't get to meet and see very much, um, or spend more time with others that I do is it's always fun. Um, always great discussions going on, insightful um, you know talks to be had. We're all excited about the same sort of stuff, and then you guys bring like you know, the best questions, the best presence, like the best ideas um, yourself. It's, it's just an awesome collection, and I'm always excited to be a part of it. So. Yeah, this is my second one, um, first one in the U.S., and uh, getting to meet up with uh, old friends and then making new friends, that's, the community is the best part, really. And then uh, the other part was the diverse, diversity of the topics covered. That was really cool. Uh, partying with David Tien, <laughs> no, <laughs> which was pretty awesome. And those of you who were there, you know, hey, th this is, we've always tried to talk about this at the 21 convention, how important it is to experience the convention and advertising that it just doesn't make sense. You're like, but I watch the speeches on YouTube. How is it different? You guys all get that like this. And for years, that's it. And let me just tell you, I, I said this the first day and I try and say this at the beginning of all convention of the conventions is that this is the only one where there'll be like 10% to 15% of you guys that will go on to do something really, really big, like insane, you know? And it's just, it doesn't happen, you know? Actually, that's low, it's probably, probably a higher percentage, but there's always a clique of guys that just, they do it. They take something that I said and they go beyond, you know, or whoever else. So that's what happens here, it's really cool. I'm probably a little biased on this question, so I'm just gonna skip it. <laughs> I was still trying to think of my answer. Uh, <laughs> well, let me tell you about my own event. So, uh, echoing everything that everyone else said, except you, I don't like people in my house. I would, I would never leave people in my house, like, unattended. Like, you're like, I'm going to go to bed. You guys can still hang out and stuff afterwards. I, I would never let that happen. Um, I got too many weapons and stuff. Like, a niece comes and visits. I just spend, like, a whole day hiding stuff. Um, anyways, uh, what, what really is, it sounds funny, but... I, I joke about it a lot, but it's true. Like, not a lot of things in this world bring me joy. So coming here and speaking and getting to meet other cool guys, that um, there's lots of different paths to the top of the mountain. There's lots of different paths to enlightenment, like other guys that have some cool shit that they figured out. And it's interesting because we all have our story. We all went through so much shit and, um, and came out on top. And just meeting other people like that's pretty awesome. But really the coolest thing, the part that really brings me joy, is um, hearing from you guys like a month from now, six months from now, um, one of the guys on my forum like bought a flashlight, which is like, he sent me a Facebook message one day going, uh, hey, Bravo, I bought that flashlight you talked about. And my girlfriend and I were almost mugged and I ended up using it to keep her and myself safe. Like, that's the shit that just like, just makes my day. Like, and I'll, I'll screenshot that stuff and put it up on my Facebook page. And I'm like, this is what, this is why I do what I do. And this is why I deal with so much bullshit, especially in the PUA world. Like, I still get to go out there and help guys, which is really, I think my purpose on life was going through all the shit and everything I did, it's like being able to help other people out and share the stuff I'm passionate about. Like, this isn't even work to me, this is just fun. And somehow I get paid to do it, like, it's awesome, so. So for me, I would say the, the biggest thing that I enjoy about this and have enjoyed about this, because it's the first go around for me with this convention, is the pressure that you guys put on me. 
Uh, I know when I was preparing to come and I was thinking about what I was doing when I was your age and self-improvement was nowhere near a top priority for me, not even close. And so the fact that you guys are already so far ahead of the curve puts a lot of pressure on me. And then the conversations that we've had in the halls or last night or just kind of back and forth, the level of questions that you guys ask, the sincerity with which you ask them and your willingness to actually engage with me on the answers is so indicative of the fact that you guys take this stuff seriously as opposed to it just being kind of a passing hobby or something that you're kind of, eh, I may be interested in, but I'm not willing, really willing to sacrifice for. I go to other conventions where guys put skin in the game financially, but I can tell that mentally and emotionally you guys are putting skin in the game too. And that makes me want to step up my game, and so I appreciate the pressure you guys have put on me. It's my first time speaking at the convention as well, so I didn't know what to expect, but I gotta say I really enjoyed the diverse topics, the speakers, not everybody has the same beliefs, but everybody's open to ideas and that openness and that coolness about it and just being willing to hear people and see what works for you and see, uh, you know, and discard what, what doesn't. And also, like everybody else mentioned, how cool you guys are. Because for me, this is not about getting up and self-aggrandizement or, you know, any, anything like that, if what I said doesn't make a difference in your life, then I failed, regardless of how cool I looked on stage. And hearing you come up and talk to me afterward and the questions you asked me afterward, just really, I get goosebumps. So thank you for allowing me to, to, to do my thing. Thanks, you know, when I look across the room, I look at the other speakers, I realize that we're all on the same journey. We're just at different parts of the journey. Some of you guys are ahead. Some of you guys are at places that I've been to. And some of you guys are starting out. And so the journey is pretty linear. We're all heading towards the same point. We're just going at about it in different paths and different ways. And sometimes when we listen to one another, and listening I think is the key secret here, uh, we find little shortcuts along the way. We find other roads we can take. You know, we all have a perspective of how we look at life and to share the stage with these gentlemen and to share, you know, the, the, uh, the stage with you and, and watching at home. Uh, all of you are looking from your own perspective. So to, to really drink that in and find out what your perspective is, that's really incredible because perspective changes perception. And the more perspectives you can get, the more perspectives you can experience, whether you're talking to the speakers or the other attendees, uh, that's what really gets you thinking and gets you asking really good questions. And I think when you start with really good questions, uh, they lead you to very exciting places and, and different routes to get to that goal. So that's my thought.